Welcome back, everybody. I am playing chess until I hit 2,000 ELO. This episode, I have two 15-10 games for you. The first one is heavily edited down into like one minute, and you'll see why when you watch the video. If you enjoy the content and want to see if I can make it all the way to 2,000 ELO, be sure to subscribe. I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, we are rated 17-17, and we have the black pieces against a 16-26. I think we just continue to castle. So our, our, our King's Indian setup is, is complete. And if I play this move, I think he can take my center pawn. If I take back, he forks. I'm winning two knights for my rook, which I'm okay with. Two knights for a rook and a pawn, I'm okay with. I think I will just defend. I just hold my knight. It's crazy how you play a move and then, <laughs> and then one, and like a second later, you immediately realize what you've done. Oh, maybe he won't see it. <laughs> He's got a lot of time to see it though. Yeah, probably should just resign. <laughs> maybe I can create a pass pawn on this side of the board or hang my rook, yeah. <laughs> what was, ah, oh, the rook was on that square. I'll resign, good game. Let's do another 15-10, playing a 15-46. I'm going to abort and start a new 1510 I, I want to play a little bit of a higher rated opponent that just kind of feels bad <laughs> okay we get a 1708 this time let's play e4 from germany uh dirk and he's gonna play a Karo Khan. um i like to play the two knights against the Karo Khan. so let's see what he does uh yeah two knights And let's see how he how he handles this. There's a couple of moves here. Bishop g4. D4. He could just play e6. Probably would want to develop his bishop before he plays e6. But there's a couple of moves. One of my favorite lines in chess is takes, takes, bishop comes out. Attack the bishop, bishop goes back. This move threatens to win the bishop. So he plays a move like this. Bishop goes back. The knight comes in attacking the bishop. It's a very fun line. Um, but he plays this way. Okay. I would love for him to take me. I could fianchetto the bishop this way. I think I will do that. If here push, knight comes back. Knight would come over to g3. Bishop would find a home. I think I will do this plan to Fianchetto the dark square bishop. Okay. I think I will just continue. Bishop's coming out. Has a very nice diagonal. His dark square bishop is coming out. Do I have any ideas like sacrificing my knight? And if he takes back, I'm taking here. If I did do that and he plays bishop here... Then maybe we're trading. I bring my knight right back. And if I do this and he takes, and I take here. I feel like I am guaranteed to win that. Maybe he would have this move though. But then I could win that piece. Try it out. Okay. He locks down the diagonal. I don't think I have anything like take. Um, so I think we just go right back. The bishop now has a, a square to develop to, but maybe he would just push for b5. So he's attacking the center pawn. I could play a4 to stop b5. Because I do want to develop my bishop. But maybe we just develop it to e2. I could also lash out in the center. Here. And then play bishop to d3, protect my center pawn. I think I will play d4. 
And we can take back with the knight. Play the bishop out. I'm still thinking about a4 to stop b5 before I bring the bishop out. Okay. Do I want to take with the queen? If I take with the queen, I am hitting the bishop. Mm, and I would be preparing this move after. So I take with the queen. Queen probably comes here. But then I have this fork, right? Uh, let's let's take with the queen, I guess. Do we have the fork? Take, take. No, this knight defends. I like this move. Just defending my center even more. Getting ready to castle. And if we can get a rook onto the e-file and this situation stays the same, uh, maybe we could get a center fork. Perhaps. That'd be nice. I like our position. Feeling pretty good right now. Mm. Is my queen getting trapped after this move? I'd have to sack. Queen goes here, here, here. Like if I play this move, which is... Let's see, I have two squares, this square and this square. Um, if I play this and he goes here, I have no more squares, right? I would have to sack my knight. If I go here and he plays this, I would have this square, but if he goes here, So here, here, and here. And my queen is really off sides. But I think I would w prefer that than having to sacrifice my knight for a couple of pawns. Here, knight comes. I do this. He goes here. I can escape. Maybe to this square. Um, I do, I mean, this move just runs into this, and I would have to immediately sacrifice my knight. Um, so I think I will, I think I have to play this move. I don't love. If he keeps attacking here, it's going to get pretty dicey. Yeah. Now, I could still sacrifice. And we would be equal material. Do I want to do that? It opens up the bishop's scope. Um, I mean, my other option is going here. And if he plays bishop right back, I have to go all the way here. And then I'm worried about bishop, like, straight back. I don't want to draw, obviously. I have to take with the queen, because I can't leave the defense of this pawn. Take, take, take. I think he could take anyways. So here, 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 takes in the center. Then I could win this, but then he's threatening this. Not loving this. And if I go here and he goes here, I go right back. Bishop comes back, I go here, he takes, I slide my queen over onto the light square. I think I like that outcome. I think I like that outcome better than anything else I've calculated. Queen will be on b3. But I'll be able to castle. I missed that move completely. Um, but I have here, and my queen is getting out. This... This could have been best case scenario for us, to be honest. But if I go here and the bishop comes right back, I'm winning this pawn. So this does come with a threat of attack in the pawn. I can't defend it with the bishop. 
He could go queen here. If he really wants a queen trade. I think that's best case scenario for us. Um, the only problem is this comes with check. So I think I almost have to take with the bishop. He takes with the queen with the check. So here, check. And then if I move out of the way and he takes this pawn. So here, check. I move this way to protect this pawn. Mm-hmm. Um, what score do I want to go on to? Here. Does he have anything? He doesn't have check, doesn't have check, doesn't have check, and he can't take the pawn. If I go to the dark square, maybe this rook can come out and I can hide this way. If I go to the dark square, he has this check. Which would lose the queen. I think let's go to the dark square. So that my A rook can not be blocked in by my king. You need to be careful. This move does pin the queen to the king as well. This pawn is still under attack. I did keep my king in this pin though. Hopefully being able to bring the rook out will be a good compensation. That's not a move. There's no checks. Well, there is this check, actually. Um, because my knight is still pinned. So check. I think I would just have to go back in here, unfortunately. Keep my rook blocked in. I think this is his best move. And I go here. And his queen is under attack. Maybe my rook can get out this way. This pawn would be hit. Yeah, he castles. Um, I think this is the move. Bringing the rook out. And now if he goes check, I can just manually castle my king. Here I take, still doesn't have this check because of my queen, thankfully. Uh, this pawn is hit. I could just bring my queen all the way back. If we trade, this file is opened. My dark square bishop is looking at his king. I think I will offer the queen trade. I've been attacked this whole game. So I think maybe trading off the queens is a good idea. Even though, I mean, in this circumstance, in this position right now, I am the attack has kind of stopped. Running my king to safety seems like a good idea. Uh, let's see where he moves his queen. I don't quite have this yet. Because of, of the pin. Okay. Mm. If I go to the light square, there's discoveries. I mean, I could keep queens on the board, but not really without dropping his pawn. I think let's just trade. Let's just trade. Mm. If I attack the bishop, let's attack the bishop. Get our king to safety. Start pushing pawns. This pawn's a little vulnerable. Maybe I can play a move like this. But then he pushes. Take this pawn. Okay. Yeah, that's a good move. Because now my king can't really get to this b1 square where it, where it wants to be. So I have to play d1 and then a rook is coming. Maybe I play... King e2. I think I will go to e2. 
Maybe I can get both of my rooks out before I hide my king. That would be ideal. <laughs> if he plays this move, I hide my king on f1. Could play this. I think... I think I really should hide my king. Was worried about... pins in that, in that uh, position. Okay. He can't really take. What can I do here? I don't like that g3 opens up this bis this this uh bishop's diagonal. <laughs> Could attack his knight. We have take take If I go here, and he tries to protect the knight in any way, we're just taking it. Here. Here. I take. He takes. Could always move my knight out of the way. He's taking anyways, maybe. Uh, Let's try it out. His position here is definitely a lot better than mine. Okay, my first thought is this move. I really don't like that move from him. I guess he's trying to go here. Mm. Okay, we'll play this and attack the bishop. Mm. If the bishop moves, maybe this knight's coming in. Or if a rook defends and we take this knight's coming in, attacking this pawn. Problem is this this move, this pin. And if I play this move, yes, check now. Would I like to trade off rooks here? I think I might. Let's see if we can get him to trade off this rook. I really don't like that it's dominating the e-file, not really allowing my king to move to the side of the board if I need to. Okay, he's attacking this pawn. I could start with the rook trade, but I could also just defend this pawn, go here or here. I think I'll start with this move. My knight's starting to run out of squares, but it can't quite be attacked. And I always have this. Uh, maybe I would want to take back with our knight. If I take back with my king... Hmm. Something like this maybe would be good. Okay. I do have this move. I could just attack the bishop. I always have this escape square. Maybe I can push this way. Bring the knight to b3. I think taking back with the king is better. These bishops are really dominating, though. Okay, these are my candidate moves right now. And I want to play them a little bit fast because I have a minute and 20 seconds left. The increment should help getting 10 seconds back every every move. Okay. Um, I think I will play this move. Trying to prep g4. I could also, also bring my knight out here. Or my knight out this way. Attacking the bishop. Which seems pretty good. It attacks this pawn. It attacks the bishop. Bishop might have to go back. And I can attack it again. Maybe win this pawn. So, candidate moves now. Here. 
And if the knight's attacked. Okay, he trades. If here, I go back, check, I go here. The rook could come in this way. Whoa. Um, here, take, here. I mean, I can just defend that, can I? I think I will do that. So rook check here. Rook check is covered by the knight. It seems a little bit counterintuitive to bring my king this way. It feels like it's going out into the open instead of being tucked away. But I really don't like check here, check here. And then it feels like my king is really boxed in. So if we do see this, I think I will play this move. And we can check after the fact to see if that... If this way or this way is better. Okay, he just attacks the knight. I can come back this way, which feels a little better. Well, if I come back this way and he attacks me, and then I go here attacking the rook, I can come back this way. Oh my, the knight is really dominated. Could go up here. If I do this, Give me the check. Mm, I think I will go back this way just to stop any potential night traps. And maybe we could play B4 to bring my knight back into the game. So here, here, here. At some point, I would like to play that move. Um, this move hangs the pawn. 30 seconds. Do I have this move? Take, take, take. I don't love that. Let's just go back here. I'm going to have doubled pawns if he decides to take. If he doesn't take, maybe I'm playing knight d4. Attacking this. Knight can come back to e2. Okay, he's threatening this check right here. And I would pick up my rook. Mm, so I think if I go here, he has check. I guess let's go here. The bishop does have this check. I can go back to e1. Mm -hmm. I guess I go back to e1. I don't want to go to d1 because of discoveries. But is, are there, were there any discoveries? I'm not too sure. Mm, I guess now my only move is to go here. Maybe I can bring a knight to d2 and hide that way. If rook comes in this way... What do I do? I have to defend the bishop. Definitely losing a pawn or two. And I can't defend the bishop this way. I could block, but then he's taking. So I think I have to play this move. Also stops the rook from checking. This pawn here is hanging now. If we can somehow get out of this. <laughs> I don't know if we <laughs> if we will be able to, but I think that's a safe pre-move. And then take here. Maybe here, here. Takes. Whoa. I'll go here. If he takes, maybe king comes up. And he can't take here. We 
would have this move. I think he does have this move. Yeah. Um, let's take here. And if he takes the knight, we get the bishop. But he doesn't. This pawn is hanging. Um, I'm going to go rook here. Does he have this? I'm gonna go here. If I can get a knight here, that could be checkmate. Probably like check here, check here. I play this move and I'm threatening checkmate. If here I win the bishop. Um, let's go knight here. I'm threatening checkmate. The rook can't really give me checks because I won the bishop. How does he stop that? By going here? Yeah. Check here. Um, pin the bishop to the rook. If he checks, I take the bishop. Watching his clock. Four, three, two, one, zero. Okay. Wow. Um, <laughs> that was a hard fought game <laughs> where we both played with 55% accuracy. Um, <laughs> Played like a 1,050 and he played like an 1,150. Um, I was losing there for a long time, for sure. Let's go through the game really fast. This was a miss. So I was like 1.5 in this position. It's this move, right? No? I thought maybe this move attacking the bishop. What's the move here? E takes d5. So I just take. And then e takes d5. And then I play this move. And if he takes, I win the rook. So, so why is that? So I went here. I went here, which is a miss. Because his best move is c takes d5. And then if I do this, he has d takes e4. Can't I move my knight? Like if I move my knights just back? What does he have? Bishop e5? Then I win the exchange. And he's winning. Rook c1. H h6. Uh, I'm not too sure why he's winning here. Oh, because he has two of my pieces and I have... A okay. Okay, that makes sense. I just want a rook and he wins two of my pieces, and that's generally better for the side who gives away the, the rook and wins two pieces. And then bishop here was a mistake, probably because it allowed this and my and my queen couldn't really go back. Queen here was good. And then, okay, it did want this plan to sack the knight, and black has a little bit of an advantage. Okay. That didn't happen. And then this was definitely a miss, yeah. He should have gone here. I was planning on going here. And then it likes, yeah, bishop right back. I was planning on doing this. <clears throat> it likes queen a5. Just making a draw. And if I do this, what's his best move? Bishop takes b4, and I was planning on going here. And then knight c5. Does that trap my queen? Yeah, that traps the queen. Okay. I didn't see the knight c5 move. Okay. But queen goes there. That was a miss. Yep. So he could have won my queen. This was a miss. I should have castled in this position. Did he just win a pawn there? 
Yeah, so in this position, I castle, but then he's winning this piece, no? Here. Oh, I pin the, the queen to the king. He doesn't have time to win the piece because his king isn't castled. Wow. And it did like this white square better. It likes bringing the rook here better. Okay. Mm-hmm. It wanted me to go out here. I was thinking about it for a second, but... Hmm. Seemed just a little bit too weakening. But it's what the engine likes. <laughs> King back. This was a mistake. This was a miss. I had this move. And we're equal again. That's a good square for my bishop. And there's a fork if he takes. Uh, Let's see. That didn't happen. Gives me the check and I run this way. This was a miss. That's a miss. Knight goes here. I offer the rook trade and this is a mistake. Because of this move, I have to go right back. And this is a mistake. Take with the king. This is a mistake. And that's a miss. So I had this move, attacking this. And if he goes here, I have knight takes c5. Knight takes c5. This way. Okay. It did like the knight coming into the center of the board a little bit better. I, think I was afraid of... Like the bishop coming here, and then it likes king d2. It likes king d2 in this position. If here takes, and then the rook takes the bishop. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's a miss. Should have gone here. And if take... Doesn't he just... Up a piece here? Oh no, I have this. So I'm attacking both of his bishops. And he can win a pawn. And then he's just up a pawn in this end game, and it's pretty equal. Okay. Mm hmm. Yep. And that's a mistake. This move was better, threatening probably some some sort of checkmate attack. Some sort of attack. Mm-hmm. So I would had mate in four in this position. What did I do? I I tried to prepare the mate. I tried to prepare. I tried to go for like mate in two. But this is forcing. He goes here. Knight g5 check. King has to come up. Knight f7 check. And either way, it's checkmate. Wow. So I had the right idea, just the wrong the wrong order. <laughs> I started with knight g5, trying to go for a quicker mate. But the problem is that it just allows him to, to stop it with, yeah, even king f8. But I did go here, and he played the knight back, which is a blunder. Because of this bishop pin. Okay. Okay, well, that was a game. That was <laughs> that was most certainly a game. Uh, we're rated 17-15 right now. I think I want to play another one. I think I want to do a 10-minute game. 